Hello all, I am Anurag Gupta, Assistant Professor PICT Pune. Today I am going to demonstrate another video tutorial for CAD FICO which is for the N element linear array having uniform amplitude and spacing. Now, first of all, we need to understand the concept of array. If you uh, place the N number of elements, N number of elements like this, then you will get an array. Suppose there is a single element which is in this case it is a loop antenna. So this is the single loop antenna. You can achieve the uh, some limited gain and directivity with the help of this single element. But suppose you want to increase your gain and your directivity then you have to increase the electrical length of this single element or this system. Okay. So the first thing which you can increase the physical length for increasing the electrical length you have to increase the physical length but uh, you can increase the physical length up to certain limit so for increasing the electrical length you need to connect n number of element like this so if you can uh, if, if you place n number of element like this then it form an array so the basic question is how we can uh, control the radiation pattern after uh, placing this n number of elements okay now after placing n number of elements your gain and directivity is increased but the question is how will we uh, control the radiation pattern or the total pattern of this given system so the answer is the controlling factor for the pattern of an array the first thing is the geometrical configuration of overall array if it is a uh, linear then you will get uh, some different pattern if it is circular then the pattern is different if it is a rectangle then it is also having some different patterns and likewise for spherical also and etc the relative displacement between each element now the distance between each element is suppose d and if you increase the d or decrease the d then your pattern will also change so and this is the another controlling factor which is the relative displacement between the element the third thing is excitation amplitude of individual element means if you excite this first element with some one volt then second element with having some different amplitude then third for different then fourth or four different and so on then your radiation pattern will change okay so this is also a controlling factor and the excitation of amplitude okay, okay so it is done then excitation phase of individual element so if you um, provide some phase difference between the uh, element suppose the excitation of phase the phase of excitation here is suppose 0 degree here some beta here some 2 beta here some 3 beta in radian then you will get then you can control the radiation pattern so phase of excitation is also a controlling factor then relative pattern of individual element so from the relative pattern of individual element you can control the total pattern of your system now the total electric field of an array is equal to the electric field of single element at reference point multiplied by array factor so uh, we need to understand that you can control the you can control the total pattern with the help of this error factor so uh, we need to understand what is the error factor here because uh, if you choose a single element then its electric field is constant the controlling thing is the controlling factor is error factor so you can control the radiation pattern with the help of error factors so this is the first example in, in which a loop antenna, single loop antenna is placed in some geom uh, geometrical fashion like this, in some electrical fashion like this. So you will get an array. This is the array 
of antenna used in AWACS system which is a, a major part in our defense system this is the array of microstrip antenna now uh, the micro the array the major application of array in this space communication for astronomy for astrophysics because uh, the signal which is coming from distinct galaxy and uh, the from the outer uh, space is very weak so we need a high directivity and high gain for them so we need the array with high gain and directivity for space system so this is another type of array triangular array of dipole used in mobile communication okay now this is the uh, geometry for n number of element placed in a linear fashion like this along z axis and the distance between each element is d it is uniform and amplitude of excitation to each element is also uniform suppose 1 volt or 1 watt of power so the amplitude of excitation is same here okay, it is uniform now the controlling factor here we are discussing is beta your phase difference between each element or successive element beta is the phase di difference between two elements okay so if the phase difference if you are controlling the pattern with the help of phase difference then you will get two types of two types of array the first one is the broadside array and second one is the end fire array for broadside array your beta is zero means the phase di difference between each element is zero for end fire array your beta is plus minus kd okay so the total field is the vector addition of each field and you will get the resultant okay now the question is what is the array factor so the array factor for this type of arrangement of element is equal to summation n small n equal to 1 to capital N e raised to j n minus 1 psi where psi is kd cos theta plus beta now k is the propagation constant or the wave number which is 2 pi upon lambda d is the distance between each element which is same in this case or constant in in this case cos theta plus beta now for broadside beta is 0 for end fire beta is plus minus kd for maxima in both the case broadside and in end fire is 0 for maxima so if suppose I want a maxima at theta equal to 90 degree for broadside so psi is 0 which makes beta 0 because my theta is 90 so cos 90 is 0 you will get beta equal to psi which is 0 so for broadside beta is 0 for end fire I, I have a maxima at 0 degree means cos of 0 is 1 and for maxima psi is 0 so uh, cos is 1 so it, it is only kd so beta plus kd equal to 0 which make beta equal to minus kd for theta equal to 0 when maxima at theta, uh, theta equal to 0 then you will get beta equal to minus kd when if you want maxima at theta equal to 180 degree then psi is 0 beta minus kd equal to 0 you will get beta equal to plus kd for theta equal to 180 degree when the maxima is at theta equal to 180 degree 